हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईसी एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट फॉर्मेट इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी अंडरस्टूड अबाउट फिक्स्ड पॉइंट फॉर्मेट व्हेन वी कंपेयर फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट फॉर्मेट विद फिक्स्ड पॉइंट फॉर्मेट द फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट फॉर्मेट इज यूज्ड टू इंक्रीज द डायनामिक रेंज ऑफ नंबर रिप्रेजेंटेशन so using floating point format we can increase the dynamic range of the number representation the general format of floating point format number representation is given as x is equal to m into 2 to the power of e here m is the mantissa or fractional part in q format and e is the exponent always here the mantissa and the exponent are the signed number this is the floating point format representation where we have 4 bit for exponent and 12 bit for mantissa the mantissa has the limit between minus 1 to plus 1 so this is the limit of mantissa which means mantissa should have the value between minus 1 to plus 1 here the dynamic range is controlled by the number of bit that are assigned to the exponent if we have the bigger value for the bits assigned to the exponent the dynamic range will also be larger so higher value in exponent 4 bit will produce larger value so using exponent we can increase the dynamic range of the number the number of bits in mantissa defines the interval in the normalized range the interval size is 2 to the power of minus 11 using this format we can identify most negative number as 1.11 zeros to base 2 into 2 to the power of 0111 to base 2 so if we calculate this it will be since it is 1.0 zeros so it will be taken as minus 1 into 2 to the power of 7 that is nothing but minus 128 most positive number can be calculated as 0.11 zeros base 2 into 2 to the power of 0111 to base 2 so this can be written as 1 minus 2 to the power of 11 into 2 to the power of 7 that is nothing but 127.9375 so which is approximately 128 the smallest positive number can be obtained as 0. Point followed by 11 zeros to base 2 into 2 to the power of 1000 to base 2 that can be written as 2 to the power of minus 11 into 2 to the power of minus 8 this is nothing but 2 to the power of minus 19 so here if you observe this is the mantissa part and this is the exponent part as we can see here the exponent will act as scaling factor to increase the dynamic range of the number representation now let us take an example where this decimal number should be converted into floating point number what we'll do we'll take this number 0.1601230 this number we'll write in this format so here it is m into 2 to the power of e so here m should be having the range between minus 1 to plus 1 so you can choose any value that is ranging between minus 1 to plus 1 so here i will write this number as 0.640492 into 2 to the power of minus 2 so here if you see m is having the value between minus 1 to plus 1 which means it is satisfying this condition into 2 to the power of minus 2 now we can use two's complement and we can write minus 2 can be written as 1110 now let us take this number and let us use q11 format q11 format is similar to q15 format where you will take this number and multiply by Two and you will write the binary number. So if you perform Q11 format, you will get the value as zero one zero one zero 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 one 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 one. 
Now this is mantissa part and this is exponent part. We can cascade these two value to get floating point format. So we can write 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 1. So this is the floating point format of the given decimal number. Now the question is can we take the same value itself? No, you can take any value between minus 1 to plus 1 and here the exponent value will change if you change this value. This is about floating point format. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.